And so you came from the dark side of real estate and found out that you weren't necessarily a great salesperson. You're more of a marketer. Who did you yeah. like take your inspiration from earlier? Like where were you learning your marketing tactics? Well, interestingly enough, when I was in the Air Force, man, there, okay, this was like in the late 90s, you know, early 2000s, there was this trend. I've always been into hip hop and kind of that side of fashion and trends. And with, with shoes, there was some time where there was a lot of these fake shoes that were around. They were like Gucci printed Air Force Ones and, you know, Timberlands. And, you know, they would take the Nike Air Force Ones and put like a Louis Vuitton swoosh on it and stuff like that. And, you know, I was seeing these different videos with like the big timers and, you know, these different rap artists and stuff that were wearing that kind of stuff. And, you know, obviously me, I'm like poor airman in the Air Force. I definitely can't buy that if it's real. So I started looking around and I originally found a pair of those shoes on eBay for like $130. And so I bought them there and I kept looking around. I was like, man, there's just like, there's got to be a better way. You know, these aren't even real shoes. And ended up finding like a Chinese supplier that had them for like 30 or $35 a pair. I built a website and I was basically selling these shoes to people. Truth is, I don't even know how people were getting to the website. Like when I think back on it, like how do these people even find my site? I have no idea other than that somehow the SEO was just working in my favor. I don't know. Like I wasn't smart enough when I look back now, I was just dumb enough to like keep pushing forward and figure it out, you know? So I actually got decent at the marketing, like building websites and some of that kind of stuff. Even when I was in the Air Force was when I, you know, was like had my first e-commerce website. But in real estate, the first technology that ever really made a big difference for me what's called ProQuest Technologies. And it was like recorded information lines. They're still around today. So in my case, I would put a magazine, an ad in a magazine that was at the local grocery stores that people would pick up on their way out of the grocery store. And it would be a full page and it would say, call 1-800-blah-blah-blah to get information about any of these houses and punch in the code. And each house, instead of having a price, would just have a code. So it'd be like code you know, 77541. So you would call a number, when you punch the code in, it would start giving you recorded information and immediately send me the lead. And so we were getting like 400 leads a month or something off of these little magazine ads. I mean, it was crazy. Even just like early on, I was just figuring out some of these different marketing things that worked well. And that's really where, you know, was like the thing that in, was enjoyable for me or was like really fun was like figuring out the marketing side. Like how do we get people to reach out to us versus us having to reach out to them and, you know, and just that stuff. Cause I was never into the cold calling and always looking for something better than, than that, you know, is like, how do we create enough inbound leads to never have to worry about the cold calling? Even just er really early on, I was just always into the figuring out the marketing and just, you know, going to events and investing in myself and having different, you know, buying different courses and and things like that. Yeah, I remember the very first real estate event I ever went to was a Craig Proctor event. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that, Craig. You know? yeah. And he was, that was back when they were doing the, your house sold in 14 days or we'll buy it, guaranteed, you know, that kind of stuff. And man, just always like learning little things and just throwing it out there, you know, and seeing seeing what would work. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like, uh, the marketing thing is just so super fun to me. Yeah, how did that work? It was like you had established a buy price in advance, and then like if they didn't, if you weren't able to list and sell it for more, then the then they would buy it. Is that yeah? Yeah, basically, yeah. They would they would agree up front to whatever the price would be. You know, usually it'd be like let's say seventy five cents on the dollar or something like that, and and they would typically have different investors that would already be set up to you know be able to purchase it that way. But yeah, I mean, it was pretty. I mean, definitely a genius offer. You know, I mean, I know a couple of agents still today that build their whole business off of a Craig Proctor website that told people, you know, I'll sell your house or I'll buy it guaranteed, you know, kind of stuff. So you said just said the term offer. That's a marketing term, right? An offer? Yeah. Oh, I, um, I guess, yeah. You know, basically it would be like, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, anything is an offer, you know, I mean, everything, everything is an offer for throwing out, right? For loan officers, we make offers around, you know, different products that we have or, you know. All, all kind of stuff, right? Anything that's like, if I'm trying to get you to do something, it's going to benefit my business. I mean, I think ultimately like, yeah, those are all, those are all offers. And the better you can get at making offers, the better you're going to be at sales, right? Because it's all kind of, like, it's different if I'm just trying to talk to you or if I'm trying to influence you to do something. Like those two things are different. Like if I'm trying to influence you with my words, with writing, you know, that's copywriting. 
and yeah, just like some sometimes that stuff, people are really amazing loan officers, but like they don't know the first thing about like writing words that sell stuff, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's all, a very it different all goes together. It's a very different skill. Yeah. And I'm just like I remember I'm looking at your website here, you know, and any good sales site or business website has some sort of offer. Yeah. You know? I, mean, I noticed you... websites, right? More most mortgage websites have an offer for get this checklist or get this PDF or, you know, opt in for this information, right? It's like realtors offering the CMA or list of homes, right? Like these are all offers in, in our industries. Do you combine offers with guarantees? Is that kind of how that works? You can, right? So like in the case of that Craig Proctor one, right? If you go, hey, you know, I'll, your house sold in 25, you know, in 21 days guaranteed or I'll buy it. Like, I mean, I have a guarantee in my business, you know, or which is like, hey, if you don't, you know, if my program doesn't work for you, I'll refund you and cut you a check for 2500 bucks.